Hey everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats, and in this week's video we're going to be taking an in-depth look at a popular cat food brand called Shiba. So again, Shiba is an extremely popular cat food brand, and it's undergone a number of changes over the last decade or so. So I'm pretty excited to tell you about it and help you to get a better understanding of what this popular brand is all about. So keep on watching the video to get all the details on Shiba, including where it comes from, where it's made, what kind of foods they have to offer, and whether or not those foods are going to be a good choice for your cat. If there's any particular topic that you want to jump to, feel free to use the video navigation below. That'll allow you to jump to different sections based on what interests you the most. Before we get into all the details, let's get a little bit of background on Shiba. So Shiba is a Mars pet care brand. This is a huge company with over 40 different pet brands, including Whiskas, Royal Canin, Iams, and Crave. In 2019, they were the world's highest earning pet food company. This is a really big company with a lot of resources and a lot of experience in the industry. So obviously Mars has a lot of different brands and all of them are positioned a little bit differently. So you have Whiskas, which is really budget tier food. And then you have Royal Canin, which is kind of their um, veterinary brand, their scientifically formulated brand. And then you have Shiba. I would describe Shiba as something of a budget luxury brand. Similarly to Fancy Feast, uh, it's a budget-friendly brand that's going to appear in a lot of grocery stores and big box stores, but which has this kind of gourmet uh, persona, so to speak. So Shiba has undergone a few changes over the last decade or so, as I mentioned in the introduction. So currently, Shiba only offers wet food, and all of these foods come in these perfect portions packs. They're little plastic twin trays that you break apart and then peel open uh, when you feed your cat. Now, Shiba is offering has changed over the years, and in 2011, the company announced that Shiba was being discontinued. So apparently, they felt that they weren't getting enough sales to continue to support Shiba. But then in 2012, Shiba came back, um, the food started coming in cans, and then in 2014, they discontinued the cans again, and they were back to these plastic trays. So the way that Shiba foods are packaged is a pretty significant part of the customer experience, which I'll go into a little bit more detail on later. But what's inside of the packages is pretty similar to a lot of other uh, foods at this price point. So interestingly, like a lot of other cheaper canned or wet cat foods, Shiba foods are offering a more species appropriate macronutrient distribution uh, than what you'll see in a lot of so-called premium wet cat food brands. And I think this is because, you know, they're not adding a lot of fluff. They keep things pretty simple. The foods are meat-based products. They do contain some plants. Um, some of them contain some artificial ingredients. But for the most part, these are meat-based foods that are offering plenty of protein, moderate levels of fat, and not a ton of carbohydrate matter. Like all Mars brands sold in the United States, most Shiba foods are manufactured in the United States, although there are some exceptions. So for example, their meaty tender sticks are made in Austria and their now discontinued signature broths line was made in Thailand. So overall, there is some variation in where these foods are being manufactured. I contacted the company to find out where the food's ingredients were being sourced and they gave me a pretty general answer saying that most um, Mars brands will source their ingredients primarily from North America, but again, uh, it was a very general answer and I didn't get any specifics on where these ingredients are coming from. All Mars brands subject their suppliers to their supplier code of conduct and they participate in a responsible sourcing program. So when I did a search to find out whether or not Shiba had been recalled, I wasn't able to find any Shiba recall specifically. That being said, other Mars brands have been recalled. Uh, there are a number of recalls in this company's history. I was also able to find a few reports of health and safety violations in Mars plants, which is concerning. So I'm going to put a link to some of the investigation reports uh, so that you can take a look at them for yourself. Overall, while it is good that Shiba has never been recalled, I can't say that overall it's coming from a company that has a completely clean history. At the same time, it also doesn't come from a company with a terrible history. This is a really big company that's doing a lot of business and all things considered, they're not doing too badly. So to get a better feel for what Shiba has to offer, I purchased a selection of Shiba foods and opened them up, looked at their ingredient lists, 
and I'm going to be telling you about what I'm seeing. So the first food that I want to take a look at is their Perfect Portions Tender Beef Entree Pate. So it's kind of cool to see clearly named ingredients as the first couple of inclusions on the ingredient list of a budget tier food. Of course, this changes up a little bit when we get to the inclusion of poultry liver, which is a more generic term. We don't know exactly what type of poultry um, this ingredient is coming from. It could be chicken or it could be turkey. And aside from these nutrient-rich muscle meats and organs, uh, there isn't that much else on this ingredient list. I am seeing some caramel color, which is disappointing considering that, well, one, cats don't need caramel color, right? And secondly, this is an ingredient that potentially could have some health hazards. I'll put a link in the description to some of the research on that. And it also contains some guar gum as a stabilizer. Guar gum overall does appear to be safe. There are some concerns about it, but in general, it does appear to be a safe ingredient. So overall, this is a really straightforward, meat-rich food um, that delivers plenty of animal-derived protein with moderate levels of fat and low carbohydrate content. To get a better understanding of what this brand has to offer, I also want to take a look at a food from their bistro line. So while this particular recipe is called salmon and creamy sauce entree, it's not just made from salmon because while salmon is the first ingredient, it also contains chicken. Again, it contains that poultry liver. So you're getting a wide variety of proteins from a variety of animal sources. So it's not going to be a good option for some cats with food sensitivities. Interestingly, the food also contains animal plasma, which is a component of blood. Uh, again, they're not naming which type of animal um, this plasma is coming from. This is a highly nutritious ingredient. Um, it's interesting to see it here. I'm not exactly sure why Shiba chose to include it in this particular recipe. Unlike the last recipe we reviewed, it also contains some tapioca starch and also contains some additional flavor additives for that sauce. Uh, so I'm seeing that it includes natural Parmesan and butter flavor uh, for, I guess, a, a cheesy Alfredo sauce. But all things considered, it still looks like a pretty meat heavy food. And although I've come to expect saucier foods to have higher carbohydrate content, it appears that this food manages to stay really low in carbohydrates. So overall, it appears to be about 58% protein, 38% fat, and 4% carbohydrates on a dry matter basis. And that looks about spot on for your cat. So overall, from my perspective, not too bad. I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing from Shiva. It does look like this brand is offering pretty decent foods. I am seeing some artificial flavors in some recipes and some other kind of potentially questionable ingredients like vaguely named proteins. But overall, it looks like these foods are pretty species appropriate and they should be good choices for most cats. And again, Shiba Foods are some of the more inexpensive products on the market. They're definitely not the cheapest. You can get pretty good foods for less. For example, authority pate might cost closer to a dollar per day, while Shiba is going to cost over a dollar fifty each day for a typical 10 pound cat. So. It's not the cheapest, um, but it's also far from being the most expensive wet food you can give your cat. And given that you're also not loading your cat up on plant proteins and a lot of other ingredients that could be considered to be fillers, it looks like a relatively good value. But the last point that I want to mention before we go into our overall rating of Shiba is customer experience. So our Shiba review on the All About Cats website, which I'll link in the cards and description, uh, is one of our most popular cat food brand reviews, and we've gotten a lot of comments on it. One theme that keeps coming up in the comments is that these packages are really, really hard to open. And I've experienced that myself using Shiba Foods, opening up the packages. It's really annoying to have to peel that top off. So between the frustration of trying to open these packages and splattering gravy all over, um, and then having to throw away all of that plastic, uh, the packaging really leaves a lot to be desired. I've also gotten some comments from people saying that their food was green, uh, discolored, uh, when they opened up the package. Uh, it seems like this is a relatively common experience, um, so it seems that the food must not have been packaged correctly, and that points to some issues with consistency. I haven't been seeing so many of these comments recently, so perhaps this is an issue that Shiba has resolved. Um, I'd be interested in hearing about your experience in the comments. 
But in spite of these complaints, Shiba is still a really popular brand, especially among cats. I consistently hear that cats love the way that Shiba food tastes. I've also noticed that it seems to be a really popular choice among senior cats. Uh, it's very soft and very palatable, so it can appeal to cats who may have bad teeth, difficulty eating, uh, or who have kind of lost some of their appetite recently. I would say the customer experience is pretty good. Uh, it's not perfect, but especially when it comes to the feline reaction to the food, uh, this food tends to go over pretty well. So overall, I think that Shiba could be a good choice for some people. I think that it's going to be a good choice again for cats who need a food that is really, really palatable. And if you don't mind dealing with that kind of frustrating packaging, the food isn't perfect, but it appears to be fairly nutritious. And overall, I would consider this to be one of the better kind of grocery brands that you can buy. So I will put a link to the complete written version of this review in the cards as well as in the description so you can check that out. I'll also put links to all of the products shown and mentioned here as well as some of the reports and other resources that I've mentioned in this video. If you're interested in discussing Shiba further, I would love to hear about it in the comments here. You can also head over to the All About Cats community. So we've created a community discussion board uh, where you can join with other cat guardians and talk about all things cats. And we also have a team of expert moderators, including veterinarians and behavior experts who are going to be able to answer your questions. So um, I look forward to seeing all of you in the forum and hopefully talking directly with some of you. So thank you so much for being a part of the All About Cats community and of course for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you're interested in more cat food brand reviews, product reviews, buyer's guides, and information on all things cats, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you get the news every time we release a new upload. Thank you so much. Bye!